Coming up on Around Kern County, we're shining the spotlight on child support services by getting to know this county department and their impact on our community. And the M Street Navigation Center is helping residents experiencing homelessness. How this program is changing lives when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. In honor of National Police Week, the Kern County Sheriff's Office is commemorating those who made the ultimate sacrifice by recognizing people who lost their lives in the line of duty. This week, KCSO held their annual Peace Officers Memorial and paid a special tribute to fallen Kern County Sheriff's Deputy Philip Campus whose end of watch was July 25th of last year. We are honored to serve the communities of Kern County and we are deeply honored that our communities continue to support us. And we commit that we will continue to put on our badges and place ourselves in harm's way to protect our communities. Members of the community paid their respects to fallen deputies while KCSO's Honor Guard presented the colors and flags along with a 21 gun salute. This week, the County Administrative Building has been lit blue in honor of our law enforcement officers. Kern County Child Support Services is dedicated to helping local families create a better life for children. Here's a look at what this county department is doing to ensure children receive the financial and medical resources necessary for their well-being. Our role is to deliver outstanding child support services so that all children receive the financial and medical support um, necessary for their well-being. We do have families that are together and unfortunately sometimes they separate but they still care about the well-being of their children. They still want to provide the best lives they can for their children so we're here to engage them. Some of them may not get along so we become the mediator. We provide them with all the options and let them make the decision. Our team is really committed to the community and um, although we are a department that some would consider small within the county um, they are really focused on serving the community and not only do we have a volunteer committee that is going out to the community and working um, different events such as the Great America Cleanup and um, they're getting ready to go serve food at a homeless shelter so they do things outside of work. They also do fundraising to support community um, activities or nonprofits that affect children. It's a very passionate job for me. I, I really do care uh, about the community, I really do care about the children here. Uh, you know, I'm an avid uh, coach in the community uh, for, for young wrestlers and young football players here. Yeah, I really do care uh, about making sure that I'm helping families and customers every single day. So what motivates me to come to work every day, obviously, is um, I know firsthand what it's like to have a one-parent household and also a two-parent household. So um, putting, uh, remembering what what my life was like when I my parents separated and needing that help. Definitely uh, when I'm touching these cases, it reminds me of me and what services could have benefited me. We make a difference. Um, and I actually was on the other side. Um, I actually had to seek services at one point. And the service that I got, the response that I got and the assistance, made me say, okay, this is a place that I may can come in and give the same service to someone else. Anyone who would like to access our services can do so via our website, which is childsupport.ca.gov. They can also contact us at 866-901-3212. Kern County is working to reduce homelessness in our region by providing resources to our community's most vulnerable. Here's a look at how one program in partnership with CAPK is giving residents who need it most a second chance. Since I've been here at M Street, I've learned how to fend for myself, become more responsible, more committed, better person. You gotta wanna change. The thing that we're trying to change over here is probably the way that we look at homelessness. People think of, you know, it's that person that's mentally ill, but it's, it's everybody. You know, we're just a step away, a paycheck away, basically, from being homeless. So let's not, you know, judge people and, and let's see how it is that we can help them. They have a good group of people here. They work with you, but you have to put the effort in forward for yourself and for the program. There's classes here that you can take 
uh, financial, certain uh, other other ones too. Uh, how to how to get on your feet, become responsible, build a foundation for yourself, uh, and basically be be positive. We work very close with City Serve and some of the other churches that come over here five days a week. They get fellowship, they get mentorship. And the important thing to know about people experiencing homelessness, in my opinion, is that they're human beings. You know, and they want to be treated as such. Many come with so many different issues, and it's just trying to identify what their issues are, meeting them at the place where they are, and then providing that assistance needed to move them through. M Street Navigation Center will help anybody. There's no discrimination and everybody. The main thing is you have to work at it to make it happen. It's a two-way street, it's not a one-way street. The official ballot drop boxes for the June 7th statewide primary election are now open. They're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week across all areas of our county. Drop boxes will close on election day, June 7th at 8 p.m. Right now, Kern County registered voters who have elected to vote by mail are receiving their ballots. But if you still need to register to vote, the deadline for that is May 23rd to cast your ballot at the polls. For drop box locations, candidate information, ways to register to vote, and how to volunteer as a poll worker, please visit kernvote.com. And we're ending today with an opportunity to get organized just in time for summer. Kern County Public Works is hosting an upcoming bulky waste collection event this Saturday, May 21st in Ridgecrest. Residents can get rid of unwanted household bulky items, which includes everything from appliances to mattresses to barbecue grills. This event will be from 8 in the morning until 12 noon at Leroy Jackson Park. For more information about this event and what items are considered bulky waste, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.